So the first thing that happens is the surgeon comes in and he asks you, hey, do you want uh, any Valium? It's like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take some Valium. And then the doctor's like, yeah, you know, I got tons of it back here. So it's like, boom, boom, pop that, good to go. Then they get you on the operating chair and lean you back and drop some eye-numbing solution into your eyeballs so you can't feel your eyeballs now. So now they're like, okay, we're going to start the procedure. Are you ready to go? And it's like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's do this thing. And so the first thing they do, they actually get a vacuum cleaner out and take the hose part of the vacuum cleaner and suck that right on your eyeball. And so now they got your eyeball in a vice. They say, "I got you. we got your eyeball and now we're going to cut it open here. And before you can even think they're slicing that corneal flap right open and now your corneal flap is just flapping on the side of your face like a fish out of water and then what they do next is they take a laser gun and they just start zapping the shit out of your eyeball and burning your cornea shaping your cornea to absolute perfection and then you're 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 all of a sudden you're smelling you're smelling dead hair and you're like what's that smell and they're like oh yeah burnt cornea smells just like burnt hair it's totally normal don't worry about it and it's like okay you should you could have told me that earlier not like when it's happening but fine all right have you ever burnt your hair so after they're done blasting my eyeball with that laser gun they holster that and then they take the corneal flap and they're like all right we're gonna we're gonna put that corneal flap back on your cornea and it'll just start naturally adhering back to your eyeball and it's fine and then they're so that's happening and they're like oh hang on a second we're looking at that corneal flap and it looks to be like there's an air bubble between the flap and the cornea there so we're gonna actually need to take that flap back off and realign it like like it's a tempered glass screen protector on an iPhone and you fuck up the first time and then you got to realign it and then they're like all right that's looking pretty good there and then yeah you guessed it they do the same goddamn thing to my next eyeball long story short i went to the wrong appointment 